Hi, I'm Michael King and welcome to another Q Weekly for your weekly fix of whatever's queer. We've got two really big features on Pride March coming up for you later in the show, but first we've got a feature on An Idiot's Guide to Drag featuring Travis de Jonc. Why did you choose drag as your topic? Um, I've always been interested in ideas of masculinity and uh, ideas that sort of deal with um, what it is to be a gay man and issues like that. And I guess drag is something that such is something that everybody would understand. You know, it, it, it extends beyond the gay community into the mainstream community, and it's a phenomenon that way. But also, it's something that everybody has an opinion on. And I think people in the gay community would be quite familiar with drag and have definitely have an opinion on it. You know, they like it, hate it, whatever. And I guess I'm interested in, in something that people feel passionately about. This show is very colourful, very musical. What was the idea behind the sets? Um, there's a number of ideas, I guess, that I'm look looking at with the set. It sort of references, um, there's a lot of art references in there. Um, and that's sort of the angle I'm sort of going with, sort of uh, looking at how um, that line between the theatrical and visual art, I guess, because um, that's really what this is. Even though it's performance-based, it's very much, I think, a visual arts event. You know, it's trying, it's taking performance into a different realm. So. I call the show The Idiot's Guide to Drag and I guess I approached it from the way that um, I wanted to use images that a lot of people would be familiar with, so um, characters like Marilyn and Madonna, um, you know, you've got the Eugene Kelly singing in the Rain Man with the Bowler Hat type thing, and just images that people would recognise, um, not only just in, in mainstream cinema and theatre, but also coming from advertising, because it all feeds into it, uh, itself, so I'm looking at visual culture and portrayal of identity, so yeah. yeah. You 
you know, like I've done uh, painting exhibitions and photography before, this is my first performance. Uh, I have a lot of respect for people who do it. And um, it's just given me, also it's given me a lot of confidence, you know, and uh, I'm definitely very excited about this. Um, like my next project's gonna be performance as well. I'll do the story of Pinocchio in a very abstract drag way, if that's possible. <laughs> that's for next year's Midsummer? Possibly for next year's Midsummer, yes, yes. Uh, it's been great talking to you, Travis. Oh, thank you, Brett. That was uh, Travis Dejonk proving again what an artiste he really is. Now, coming up is, of course, Mardi Gras, and Vic Presents are looking for people to join their group as marchers. You can be bent, you can be gay, you can be lesbian, you can be old, you can be young, transgendered, dare I say it, even straight. And if you want to march in Mardi Gras this year, why not join Vic Presence? You can contact them on, oh well, basically head down to the Atlook Cafe down in Commercial Road and speak to Derek or Warren and they'll set you up with that. We're going in now to some Vox Pops we had down at Pride March this year. You should check it out. You might even see yourself there somewhere. And don't forget to contact us at PO Box 6256 St Kilda 8008. But first, Pride March. What are you doing today? down the street of Fitzroy here and yeah. end up in the park, Teeny Gardens and do a bit of performance on the show of course. Yes. And any plans to entertain the crowd as you're walking down the street? Yeah, of course, there's always yes. got involved in the day. We, we love a bit of drag king action. Yes. So yes. What, what other drag king yes. have here today? What's up? your name? Outlaw. Outlaw? Who are you? Over here with the sign. What's your name? Uh, today it's uh, today. Leave up to the end. Leave who's sleep today. Well, you have a good pride march Thank and we'll you. see you at the end. And I'm here with Dr. Gertrude Glossop. That's right. Um, from both the History Walk and the Zoo Walk, part of the Gay Archives. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. You packed a lot into a day yesterday. Oh, it was a very big day, yes. What time did you start off at the zoo? At the four to six at the zoo, then straight over to the gardens there at the exhibition building for the start of the History Walk at seven. So you've got not only um, a gay historical knowledge, you've got a lot about animals. Oh Is yes, just, yes, I know about all the queer behaviour of animals, yes. So. <laughs> and the message of the Gay Archives at the History Walk was all about? That area of Fitzroy and Collingwood. It was a new walk devised so that uh, to dis rediscover the history of that area. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Gertrude. That's a pleasure. <laughs> okay, we're here at the Pride March and here I have... Jess. Thank you. you are a Teletubby? Yes, I'm Poe. You're Poe? I'm Poe. Po. Yes. Okay. And which group are you with? I'm with Manus 18. And they do? They do underage dance parties and things for underage, gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgender teenagers. Okay. <laughs> do you meet up anywhere in particular once a month or? Um, pretty much every school holidays, maybe a couple of times in the summer holidays and long weekends at Freskies or other night clubs or whatever. Yeah. That's good to hear. Are you looking forward to the march? Yes, I am very much. Hi, here I am again with Spaced Out at Pride March. We've got Stim Lily and Alan, the creators of uh, RU12, who you just saw there. How are you today? Oh, very well, thank you. And why RU12? Um, I uh, am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you, really. Where do you go? And Spaced Out is? We're at Melbourne's uh, Gay and Lesbian Science Fiction Club. We get together. Uh, we get together on a monthly basis at VAC, and we do all silly things, including making models like this one on odd occasions. <laughs> <laughs> Going to movies and dressing up like, like. Um, well, I'm actually here as IB1. Can you be? Well, I can see that. It's, it's an obvious costume. I don't know why I didn't pick it. I'm, Lu I'm Luke Warmwater. <laughs> you see, we're going to have our shirts on in a sec. You came too early, you see. Oh, OK. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in front of the camera, no. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Hi, and with me I have... Very impressive. And Esmeralda. Uh, what's your role in the Pride March? We're going to be the best non-motorised entry. We want the 500. Esmeralda's coming to Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> here, Pride March again, and I'm here with a uh, regular to Ben TV. You'd all know her from viewers. Annalise, how are you today? I'm good. I'm excited. I'll bet you are. Ready yeah. to go? Oh, yeah. Yep. It's only, what, 20 minutes away now? Yep, yep. So. But we've just done our routine, and it's all looking good, and it'll be great. It's going to be great. I'm yeah. sure it will be. Yeah. And, of course, also with us, Sally Ann. <laughs> Sally Ann. It's Sally Ann. Yeah. Sally Gold, our Vice President of Ben TV, and also a March. Girl, how are you? Well, I'm fantastic. It's a great day to be part of the community because we're all here in every way with every hat and loving it. And you're doing your famous Mardi Gras routine for us today? That's right. The first time seen to the wider Melbourne public, so everyone's had to enjoy it. And I tell you what, if you want to be a part of the fun of uh, Mardi Gras 2003 with the marching girls, get in touch with us. Yeah, yeah. 
get in touch with the marching girl. Back at Pride March, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Di, president of Dykes on Bikes. Di, you always get the privilege of leading off Pride March. Why is that? Um, I guess because we're Dykes on Bikes, we um, get the crowds all revved up. Um, it's just it's just so exciting that every member just sits on their bikes, thrashes the um, accelerators. Well, I certainly know I wouldn't want you coming up behind me on, on the, the back of Pride March anyway, but they get that privilege up at Mardi Gras as well. Well, we do because we it's basically the, the motorbikes rev up the crowds and that's what we do. We get the crowds excited, they're having a good day, we're having a good day and that's what it's all about. You go up to Sydney regularly as well, little girls? I don't. There's a, there's probably about half a dozen members that are going up to Mardi Gras in March. Um, we're organising that at the moment. Um, I'm off to Europe this year, so I won't be attending Mardi Gras. Uh, unfortunate for you. Yeah. How many members do you have there, Di? Um, 34 was the last count. Um, we're actually um, at a stage where it's time to renew our membership, so we'll know a little bit later down the track what our membership actually is. How do people get in contact with Dykes on Bikes? Um, there's an email site. It's uh, dobvic at yahoo.com au or they can actually come to a meeting it's the last tuesday of each month it's at the grandview hotel in fairfield oh well and we usually meet about 7 p.m well good luck it's um we're only about 10 minutes away so good luck today and help congratulations for letting off the march thank you Thanks, have, a, have a good pride march will do you too Welcome back to Q Weekly. Coming up we have Harriet and Brett doing that bizarre weekly horoscope thing that they do. But stay tuned now for more Pride March footage. You may get your own 15 seconds of fame.
hope you got your 15 seconds of fame. Be staying tuned in the next couple of weeks for some more Pride March features. Coming up now, the ever bizarre Harriet and Brett. Thank you for joining me, Madam Persephone, again, amongst the stars. I mean, us amongst the stars. Aquarius, <coughs> oh my voice. You will be the luckiest person alive this week, so try jumping off a cliff and see how lucky you are. Pisces, a lot of cosmic activity prevents me from telling you your horoscope for this week. Aries, you will realise how small the world is when you find out that all of your friends have been sleeping with your partner. Taurus, this is not the week to hold back emotions. Letting some of these emotions flow will prove to some that you are stronger than they had thought. This will earn you respect amongst your work colleagues. Gemini, a German designed car and manufactured in Australia, popular in the mid to late 1970s, this small versatile car was an attraction with many of the young teenagers of the time. Cancer, be careful what you say to others. A little lie could lead you to too much larger lie that will almost impossibly be, it will be impossible to cover up. Admitting the truth will be the only way to save your ass. Leo, after you have connected the outlet plug to the back of the appliance, connect the rip plug into the remaining socket. Turn on the appliance by pressing the on-off button on the top left of the control panel. Virgo, this is the time when you need to look at the big picture and see for yourself what needs to get done in order for your goals to be achieved. Libra, once sold in brown paper bags, now available at all leading supermarkets and chemists. Scorpio, your pet will give you what your friends and relatives can't at this time of need. They will be the most loyal when they are at play. Sagittarius, unexpected compliments will boost your confidence to a new high, but don't let it go to your head, as others may see this as being cocky. Capricorn, your colour is brown, your stone is onyx, and your number is up. I'll see you next week amongst the stars. I just hope you understood that more than I did because I didn't have a clue what Harriet was saying in that one. But Brett again proves that he's a ca card carrying pufta. Um, don't forget Vic Presence if you feel like marching in Mardi Gras this year, 9877 7874, or just drop in and see Warren or Derek down at Outlook Cafe in Commercial Road. You can contact Bent TV at PO Box 6256 Melbourne 8008 or Bent TV at Yahoo. Dot com dot au. As I said, we'll be having more Pride March features coming up in the next few weeks, plus, of course, all the features from Carnival Day, which was last Sunday, coming up. Anyway, thanks very much for watching Q Weekly this week, and we hope to see you again very soon next week. Cheers. <laughs>